Hello everybody, I'm Gabi and this is Gabi Tech. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm bending tubes for the first time because my tools arrived from Aliexpress that they sent me. I ordered some tools from Big Ski for cheap price pull set with a cutting tool also and I'm ready to bend. I already did two bends. Here is the first one and here is the second one on my amazing PC that is getting more and more beautiful. You see the components are fully here, the beautiful motherboard. Yesterday I installed the monoblock on my Aorus Extreme Z390 Extreme Water Force motherboard. Beautiful motherboard, so amazing this light, beauty, monoblock, water, it's divine. Now we are bending tubes 14 millimeter it's easier to bend 14 millimeters and i think i did pretty good with my first two bend two bends i didn't even destroy any tube for now now i have the third bend to do this was a suggestion but it looks like lazy work that i haven't done anything it's not exactly suitable for me so my idea is to route a bend with the new tube basically i'm thinking Yes, I'm using my phone cable, but this is okay. I mean, garden wire would also work, but I can't find right now. To come from here, like this, to here. And we'll have a bend here, 190 degree. And I think it will look aesthetic. I have a new tube that I will open and bend in front of you. I really enjoy bending tubes, it's fun, it's like, you know, that feeling in your stomach, if I'm gonna do it this time, will it work? Because, you know, each destroyed tube is a cost. And then you hit yourself and say, oh my god, I did it again, I didn't do it properly. And 10 euros, bye bye. This PC looks ultimately beautiful for now, even if it's not completely finished, one thing is missing, a GPU. If somebody of you wants to send me GPU, I will love him. Um, I will send him gifts and he will be forever in my heart. So I'm open to gifts, RTX series, 3000. I know I'm a little bit picky, but if you do it much love, we will install the GPU here. So our bend wouldn't interact with the GPU. First, my initially I had another bend that were up here but it was interacting with the GPU here and it wasn't looking exactly good. That's why I changed the configuration a little bit. Now let's go ahead and do the last pen. So let's go and do the ultimate last pen because I'm the ultimate tube bender, the last one tube bender. Shh. Meanwhile, in the comment section, you can tell me colorful or transparent liquid. Tell me your suggestion and I will count the comments for colorful or transparent liquid and I will decide according to your opinion. So hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna bend tubes. This is a tutorial how to bend tubes. It's my second time that I'm bending tubes and I'm thinking I'm doing well. I made only one mistake and I destroyed only half a tube till now. So I think I'm talented, that's why I pronounce myself like the last tube bender. Now what do we need to bend tubes? A soapy water here. You prepare it. I used a uh, dishwasher detergent. It's still okay. Then we have our PTG tubes. This is one of the bands that I did, you know, Perfect 90. That was actually my first band. It looks very beautiful. The only thing that I made mistake is that, you know, when you measure on the computer, where should you bend? Uh, I put marker here and then I forgot to remove it before putting the tube on the heat gun. And of course it sealed it completely to the tube and now the tube is dirty. Anyways, here we have three templates, one for 180 degrees, for 45 degrees and for 90 degrees. All of them are for Bixki, from Bixki, that's why I'm very grateful. Thank you Bixki for sending to me this stuff. We have also our silicone tube, 
that you use to bend tubes. Actually, you put this into the water. Oops. And, of course, gloves in order not to make your tubes fudgy. And my tubes are very good quality, extremely good quality. There is no scratches, nothing. I had a friend that I helped him to bend tubes with him and his tubes were completely scratched. Also, one more thing, these tubes are 14 millimeter, which I find them very aesthetic. 16 millimeter is way too thick for me. They look anesthetic inside the computer case and this one look very thin, very gentle. I love the look of it. You can see my build. I will show it in the end of this video and you'll see how aesthetic it looks. I'm actually a fan of the basic bands. Basic, clean and very organized. I don't like thick bands, different bands. It looks too much for me. Too... It pokes your eyes too much. I want aesthetic. That's why I chose 14 millimeters. Okay, look at this tube. This is what happens when the silicone tube doesn't reach the end of the tube like it happens in my case because the two bands were too close to each other and it just couldn't fit. And when you don't hit when you don't hit enough with the heat gun, because when you bend the tube on the heat gun, I put you need to turn it like this so it can go from every side. The heat should be equal on each side. What did I do here? I did a mistake. I heated mostly one of the sides. The other wasn't that goodly heated up. The silicone insert wasn't on the... To, it wasn't to the end of the tube and that's what happens. Bad mistake that can cost you money because one tube is around 10 euro, I think. Or this one are from Barrow and they're not that expensive. You can get them from AliExpress. The quality is supreme, as you see. This is the burr that you use in order to make the edges of the tube smooth. And then from the other side. They are smooth. Anyways, let's go back to the point of where we're actually bending tubes. We will need a heat gun. This is Black & Decker's very nice heat gun, but even a very basic one would do the job. And of course, glasses for protection. And I forgot to mention, after you do it, you make the tube perfect for your computer with this cutting tool, also from Bixki. Make sure the end of the silicone insert comes like this so it will be convenient for you to hold. Let's put the gloves for protection. Put it into the template, you hold, you press. I love these templates, they're very easy to work with. Wait a little bit. We remove the silicone insert and we stick the tube into the water again. I put it on the floor because water and electric, you know. Ta-da! We have the perfect 90 degree band. It's so easy to work with 14 millimeters. I really, my advice to you actually, is to use mainly 14 millimeters. They're very easy to work with. 
they're easy to bend and they look very aesthetic. It's very simple, it is more simple than it sounds, trust me guys you can do 90 degrees you can do 180 you can do 45 degrees you can experiment the most important thing about this is to measure measure correctly measure from fitting to fitting leave some space so you can cut because the measure is the one that can destroy everything at the very end if the measure is incorrect the tube is wasted even if you don't overheat it even if you not overheat it or everything anything else still you need to measure it the proper way fortunately I'm good with measures and that's why I did my tubes from the first time on my computer I didn't need to destroy any tubes to make it look beautiful the only mistake that I did was on my first try tube that I just wanted to feel how it is to bend tubes and I enjoy it thank you very much for watching this be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media bend some tubes and we had fun with establishing all of this system now it's the moment of truth I got this EK Crew Fuel thank you very much clear premix that I will put into the system and see if it leaks normally people use leak testers but unfortunately I don't have one that's why I put, put this uh, my grandma's towel here so you know if it leaks it will drop on the towel my premix is already in the special bottle and it's time to put it into the system and to see if everything is gonna work correctly. Fingers crossed and let's start. a lot of water you know this is my beautiful pump Antilla from Rajin Tech we had a little bit problem with mounting it to the case but I really solved it with my extra screws that I had as you see it takes a lot of water More, but it's RGB to look very cool I see my cables are not exactly impressive so I will have to get a custom sleeved one and I'm thinking about pink I really wanted to get a pink liquid but I know how lazy I am and I'll be really lazy to clean it because you know pink candy hot candy pink will stain so much my tubes and blocks that every six months I have to clean everything inside out and this will make me crazy to you know the assemble the system clean it and so on that's why I decided to put clear I know it's a little bit boring but Still. Here we go. And press the button. 